do you know that the only holiday that I could think of that's the same in these three Abrahamic religions is the Sabbath. In fact, it did not start in the book of Exodus. It started in the Garden of Eden, the Garden of Eden. The seventh day was the day that the Almighty viewed all his creation and stopped creating. He rested, not that he was tired, but because it was a holiday. In one of my prayer books, it says the Sabbath is the end of days for which the first of days was created. And if you go to the book of Exodus in the Torah, you'll see that it's the first holiday, feast day, special day that's mentioned, the Sabbath, the seventh day. Now, um, in the book that the Christians use, which has the Gospels, the Acts of the Apostles, Revelations, the letters to the churches, the Sabbath is mentioned frequently. They rested on the Sabbath. So did the rabbi from Nazareth rested on the Sabbath. And in the Quran, it mentions the Sabbath. It says that it was the day that the Almighty ascended his throne. So no matter which book you look at, it's a special day. So think about it. It's a beautiful thing to continue traditions if they are beautiful traditions. And this one certainly is. All week long, I'm thinking about, well, you know, what do I have to do before uh, the sixth day of the week where I prepare for the Sabbath and, you know, do my cooking and make sure I finished everything I started during the week and uh, the house looks decent. Um, I start thinking about that on the first day of the week which uh, in our English calendar, of course, on the left side, it's Sunday. And if anyone visits uh, Jerusalem, Yerushalayim, you'll see that that's the first day of the week also. I mean, you know, everything opens up to stores. So think about it. Any questions, uh, let me know. And if I've made an error in anything I've said, please let me know.